Hello everybody, I'm going to show you how to mail merge labels and I'm showing myself again because every year at the beginning of the year after summer I forget how to mail merge labels. This is great or you know it happens where I had a PC, now I have a Mac, now I have to figure it out and I spend tons of time watching YouTube videos trying to figure it out so I decided to make my own video so that I can make it a lot faster. You can like, use these labels to stick on folders so kids don't lose them, stick on spirals, composition books, name tags for field trips, anything that you need all the kids names to be on you can do it in no time and I'm going to show you how. First you're going to go to Word then you are going to go to tools and then you're going to go to mail merge manager yours may not pop up like that it may look like this and that's fine you're going to create a new document and you're going to make labels here I have the 5163 that's my personal choice it's an Avery standard it's the 2 by 4 inches and there's 10 per page so it's a nice big label if you want to make a smaller one make a smaller one you could probably find one with 20 per page just look at your Avery standard number then you're gonna click OK and in here I'm going to copy and paste what I already decided that I wanted the folder to look like and I chose green because our math folders are green and then I put my name on it because we know that there are children with multiple names and they we need to know which folder goes to what teacher quickly so I made sure my name was on the bottom you can type in here too you don't have to copy and paste it I'm just doing that for time's sake then you are going to get your list and open data source is what you want I have this checklist right here because this is what I am going to use and I typed my names into this checklist and I do first name and last name but for the purpose of this video I just did first name only and here's what the document looks like it's just very simple in Excel I typed it up we're good to go so now I am going to go back to my mail merge manager I'm going to go get list open data source and here it is you can find it anywhere on your computer but I purposely saved it on the desktop to speed things up I'm going to click on that. This says all this stuff. You just say OK and click OK again. And here is my document or my label. I'm going to insert auto merge field one because I know that field one is the, na the name field. I know that that is the field that has the names of my students. And then I'm going to click OK. Now, what just happened? Don't worry about it. It's supposed to do that. I promise you. Let it do that. And it copied and pasted the font for me perfectly. Then you can click on Merge to New Document. Once you click on that, hey, now I have labels. And I know it doesn't show the um, grids, but these are labels. Perfectly spaced. I just stick it in the printer and it's done. Now, if you're a nice person like me who did my entire team's labels, you can save this document and then you can come back to this one. I'm going to click don't save because I don't want it. I can come back here. I can go to get list. I can go to open data source. And let's say I want to change the document. So I can change it to a different document. And then I can click on OK, and next it's going to dump in all their names, and I just click on this button right here, and it'll come up with a whole new set of names. So you can continue to do that. You do need to change the name at the bottom, though. And how you do that is you're going to click on Get List, Open Data Source. I'm just going to pick this one again, click OK, OK to the entire worksheet. And when that screen pops up, it, it's not going to pop up, sorry. You're going to add or remove placeholders on labels. Here you go. So let's say I wanted to change it to Mrs. Conley. It just changed all of these to Conley with the new list. And there we go. I am done. And there's my next set of labels. So I hope this helps. I know this is going to help me once I have to make labels again next school year or for a field trip.